Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to the final episode of season two of the Ancient Magnus Brides. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. All right, let's see how this ends. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't listen to her.
Yeah, her grandma. Um, okay. Ooh. I mean, cause you know, I went say for a moment, like she say look for like a second. Before, like, she looked and then, <laughs> Elios, don't look. You late. <laughs> but, okay. Maybe, I know. You still gonna go over to your grandma and be like, oh, I'm sorry, or pity you, or some shit? Oh, well, fuck you!
better. Why is my phone going off? And all it is is either, it has to be my mom. All right, hold on. Guys, give me one moment. I'm gonna pause real quick, so give me a sec. Okay, sorry about that. Part two and three, two, one, go. Great. I mean, in a way, we back to square one with this. My God, finally. <laughs> Yes. It kind of felt better to just, you know, come home. Hmm. And I mean, it's been like, what, a hot minute since they last saw her?
I know, that's right. It's too cold. Aww. I'd still be scared, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the silver. <laughs> So it was her familiar who had him had her mom, her grandma killed. Fucking bitch. See, that's why I never trust her. I never trusted her for once. I mean, cause come on, there was always a facade when it came to her. It's 
still eat though. Shouldn't be down here by yourself. Well, sometimes, baby, you gotta make your own preferences. You're still new to this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Alright, final thoughts on the. Uh oh. That's a good way to end this show for this season. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to talk about. This season... Uh-oh. What the hell is that? You, you can't give me like a a a preview. Uh, the friend Blaine, the the friend, the friend Bane. The friend something. Bane. Bane. Yeah. Okay. No. Fiend. Fiend Bane. Fiend Bane. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually know my cursive. That's an R. I, I, I added an R. Fiend Bane. What the fuck is going on in that preview? Okay. Alright. So final thoughts on this show. I, I did enjoy season two. Probably not as much as I enjoyed season one. But I will say I loved learning a lot about Philomena. Philomena is a really interesting character, but because she had, like, every, I felt like everybody in this season, including Chise, this was a darker season, which I do enjoy. I do love when shows, shows go very, very dark and such. I think my biggest problem with this second season was 
the way the first half of the show ended and we all kind of thought that we were not going to see anything for the second half of this for like almost a year later and then getting it but the pace was I felt like this overall season the pace was somewhat a little too fast and a little too slow there were times where episodes felt really really slow and they were dragging on and it was like oh my god when are we going to just get to like our not only our conclusion but to our main ish everything in this show is pretty much like very much important but there are times of watching this where it does feel like there is a filler episode and then there's a non-fillery canon episode that it is important stuff. And you can kind of recognize those in a way. Now, once again, Veronica being the one who ended up killing Phil's grandmother, I'm not really surprised on that, that she's the one who wants the book because it was very obvious that she was also thinking about trying to get the book for herself, but we just didn't know what the fuck it was. Now, this little second family that she say has in her college and stuff I really hope that with now that we're getting a confirmation of season three um is that we do get to keep that family dynamic that these core what five of them because it, it's no six because it's, it's three guys and three girls um that we keep these six together. Like, even though, yes, it's still Chisei's story at the end of the day, I still want the rest of these characters also to be featured. I don't want it to be like a show where it's like, yeah, we bring them all in because they're all freaking important in season two, and then we go on to the next arc, aka season three, and they're nowhere left to be found. Because when you look into this promo for, you know, this next season, they're nowhere to be shown. It only shows Chisei... Elios and Ruth going against this person and he looks kind of like Adam but it, he looks familiar at the same thing at this I mean at the same time so it's like who the freak is this person right here even though I just paused it y'all can't see it but who the heck is this person right here who is opposing both Chisei and Elios so why is this called a fiend bane what does this person have to do with anything of what the heck? And then I can't be your ally. That, okay, so, okay, okay. Friends. They were friends. What if it's that one guy that we saw at the beginning of the show, of this season? Because that, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he has green ha green eyes and long hair. So it could be him. I don't remember his name. That's the thing. But makes it to the point where it's like, he can't be his they can't he can't be their ally this time why is he wanting to go against them is it because of veronica and stuff because once again she now has the book and who knows what the hell she's going to be doing in these next couple of arcs now it just makes me think like maybe i should just go ahead and read and shit but yeah when you look at who all is in this picture like in front of this, what, demon-looking dog thing, you see Ruth, you see Elios, you see Chise. I do not see anybody else from this season. So it already kind of tells you from this preview that anybody from this that we've met, they're not going to show up in it. Unless they do, but they're probably not going to have a big storyline as they did in this second season. But... I get it. I digress. There's there's certain things that you have to do for certain arcs. But yeah, I mean, I really think this was just not season one good. I, I think everybody did a damn good job with everything that they worked with. The Seiyus coming back and returning for some of these characters, a, a 10 out of 10. I just think the story about this and the way that they did this, it was iffy. I think what they should have done instead of putting putting two no i can't speak because i'm sleepy putting um breaking it up into two parts and having it come out into two different seasons what they should have did is they should have been consistent and when it aired in the springtime it should have went through all throughout summer instead of half of it airing in the springtime second half airing in this um in the fall time because Within that time, in waiting, we all get interested in other things. Even with things that were clearly, like, locked on for, like, season 2, season 3, season 4, season 5, season 7, season 20, whatever, and such. Because there's a lot of time frame going in between 
the one half of a show during the second half of a show. So, I, I mean, my biggest issue, my, well, no, my biggest hopeful thing is, is that when we do get to a potential season three, um, is that they are more consistent instead of dividing it up. I don't, do I want season three to be like just 12 episodes and that's it? No, because I feel like, especially if I talk about S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero right now, um, you can't end that thing. Like, to me, in my opinion, for some shows, you can't end it with 12 episodes. You, I feel like it, it's the thing is you gotta kind of do 24, especially if it's this whole long, big arc. And when you're ending it on 12 and you end it with this cliffhanger and such, like, them saying the end, and I was like, okay, I'm kind of satisfied with this. We don't need a season three. And then you show this <laughs> end credit scene literally hinting yes it's getting a third season which once again I am excited about because I do love the crap out of this show a lot and I would love to see more of Chisei's story and such but at the same time I'm like bruh like sometimes you wonder when when is it kind of almost enough I I don't want to get to the point with this show or any show that I've watched in the from 2016 all the way till now where it's like you're overstretching it but I, I do kind of think that not only the ally who was now going to kind of be the villain, Veronica is also going to be our other villain of the show. So who knows what else is going to happen. I think one thing I would really also like to see with our little family of six, um, it was nice to see them all together for Christmas and stuff. I kind of want them all just, the six of them, just to live together and such. I think that would be really cute because, I mean, Phil has no one now. Her grandma's dead. She has that estate to herself now, so it's really up to her if she truly wants to build upon it and such. Um, it's just, the sky is a limit for her. And so, like, once, once again, I would like to see more for her and everyone else and stuff. I think there's a lot more that is under the surface with them as characters. So, once again, fingers crossed for that third season for these characters. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season two of The Ancient Magnus Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for the final episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Later on in a couple of weeks, or not even a couple of weeks, in less than really two weeks, um for the start of winter anime and then whenever season three of this show comes out and such who knows i might be stupid and just say fuck it and just start reading the manga of this because i don't know how long i can wait sometimes like i get impatient and i'm like fuck it but who knows i am in that mood but i don't know just yet but <laughs> until then i will see you guys all next time bye